Hey guys, Will here, and I have a third car garage that is in uh, constant projects. I guess I have tons of projects uh, going on, probably just like you in, in your garage. Uh, but one of the things that uh, came up here recently that I just wanted, it was just kind of nagging at me, uh, was just cluttered, was my children's long boards that were just kind of leaned up against the wall uh, in the way. Uh, and I just wanted to uh, get them off the wall and kind of display them because they're kind of cool. So I just wanted to make something that got them off the floor, against, uh, off against the wall, and hung in, uh, in a kind of display area. So I saw uh, some videos online that uh, had a lot of great ideas. One of them was like a PVC pipe where you cut out like half of the PVC and you hang the wheels in the PVC. Really cool idea. Uh, but I wanted something that I could just use straight wood, something real simple to do. Uh, and I'll show you what I uh, did. So let's turn the camera around and we'll, we'll do it. So here we are, typical situation, longboards leaned up somewhere in the garage and uh, it's kind of cluttered. You know, we got uh, the rest of it in here. It's uh, all kind of cluttered in here. So in an effort to organize this, I, wanna, I don't want to belabor the point here, but in an effort to organize it, came up with this little wall thing here. I saw this uh, this one guy, his video, and I thought it was just a genius little idea. So just kind of took it and ran with it and, and developed my own uh, little wall hanger idea. And it, and it works great. So let me grab a, a longboard and kind of throw it in there and then we'll kind of talk our way through it. All right. So here are both the longboards kind of held in. And I just had some, some uh, what is that, uh, one half by eight uh, laying around um, so I just decided to uh, take a, a one inch and let's take this guy out. All right. So I took a one inch bit. So I took this little one inch bit and made sure we lined up and, and knew what my distance was between each. And I knew ex uh, almost, you know, I wanted to be in, I just guessed about how deep I wanted to be into the wood. I knew that I needed some uh, some length here at the bottom so I wouldn't break this off when a board is resting in here. Um, I think that was the problem of the other guy when he was making his, it was his snapped off because he cut it too low down to the bottom so don't make that mistake. Yeah, you know I'm probably a good four inches up from the bottom here but this is just a little one inch and uh, just in there obviously and I cut a circle first. Uh, I didn't actually cut my second circle uh, until I had this guy made out first just to make sure I was uh, online. But I only worked on one board at a time. So I made this one and then that was my template to go ahead and make the second one. Yeah, so real easy. All you have to do is just line the miter up to the edge, back up and just make your cut. I don't think we need to even show that. I, I, you know, I don't know how y'all feel about the videos that have to show every stinking cut. I mean, I think we all know how to cut. Uh, I'm just a, a taking into assumption that you know how to use a miter and uh, you get the idea. So uh, the other side, yes, did the same thing. Just lined up the miter to this edge, backed up, and then just made the cut. Not to go too far. You don't, you don't want to go too far on, on the hole or, or else you're going to, to uh, extend your, your cut into it. So you don't want to do that. You just want to stop short. Uh, and then you'll have just a little bit of piece left over. Now there's a couple ways to do this. You can now take this board and flip it over and turn your miter at the other 45. That's at a, actually at a 45. Turn the miter the other way, flip the board over, and then cut that side. You could do that if you wanted to. Or what I, I did that on, on this one. I did that on that board. Uh, but on the first go around, I actually just took a chisel and I came back and I just actually chiseled out the opposite side with the chisel. So it was no problem at all. Came out just fine. So then once I had, you know, my, the two slots, cause there's only two boards, obviously you can run this as many boards as you want or as, as many long boards as you have, just whatever you want to do. But, um, just since I have two boards, I only had two slots. So made my two slots drew out my lines on the second board, did the exact same thing with this one. And then I just had another, um, uh, one by uh, eight here and uh, married the two together. So I married the two together using one of these 90s and some clamps. So you just put it right there, put your clamps on there, holds it perfectly in a 90, go on this side and drill your hole. Now I don't care that I have 
a wood screw showing on this side. Uh, you could have done it the other way, but I wanted actually these boards to sit on the outside to give me a little bit of width. I didn't want to be too narrow that it wouldn't uh, hold the board properly. It, it would, but uh, I didn't want to be too narrow. So I put these on the outside. So with these held in place, which by the way, these things are so priceless, they're, they're great to have. So clamp these on here and then drill. I drilled pilot holes first in all three positions and then came back and put the, uh, the two inch wood screw in. So that made everything kind of line up and was uh, square and uh, came back and just like that, slide that in there. And uh, it's about, that's perfect. You know, that's, that's about as much space as you need uh, and uh, looks real good and solves the problem of getting the long boards out of the way. Hey, so there you have it. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for you. And be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Take care.